Uh, right, welcome everyone. This is going to be a Baldur's Gate Trilogy playthrough. Now, Baldur's Gate Trilogy is a modification of the original Baldur's Gate 1 and uh, Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Arm and Throne of Ball. Uh, the difference is that in uh, Baldur's Gate 1 you can play with the Baldur's Gate 2 engine and all its relevant mods. I don't mean mods, I mean classes, which is exactly what I want to do here. So without further ado, let's get on with it. I'm going to be... I think I'm going to be a sorcerer. Sometimes I go paladin, and I'll show you why I don't particularly want to go paladin when I start like this. Uh, I'm going to go human, because I'll be single class in this all the way. If I go paladin, see uh, Cavalier, Inquisitor and Undead Hunter, they're not available. But if I was to go paladin, I have to do a really, really high roll here to get this right. Unless I happen to come across something amazing, I'm not going to be doing this, because it takes just too long. That's not bad, but it's only better. What I'm looking for is really high intelligence and really high wisdom, because they're my sort of dumb stats. But none of those three can be bad, or charisma. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that, it's just going to take too long. So, class, we're going to go for a sorcerer. Alignment, we're going to go for chaotic good, because that's just how it is. Abilities. Now this is much easier because uh, the engine is actually broken. Sorcerers are meant to work off charisma, but that doesn't work for whatever reason. So after a few rolls, I guess something like that, I've done that down to 10. Well, I suppose for law reasons I should probably keep that high. Alright, a few more rolls. That looks pretty good. So, in uh, Sorcerer classes, you can't go higher than 16 in Constitution. Well, I mean, you can, but it won't do you any good. Um, and that really is the important stat. Dex, I'll bump that right up. Not high enough roll. That might work. Okay. I've got no problem with you just treating uh, Strength as a dump stat. Or Wisdom. like her dex to be higher. See, really I want another three then. This can take a little time. As you're seeing. That's not high enough. That might be high enough. It's not. <laughs> definitely not high enough. Maybe? No, they're both very low. You just have to keep on going with this and bear with it. It can take a little time. Uh, punch that up. I don't need intelligence. Not high enough.
Okay, that'll do. I like my intelligence to be one higher because of a situation in Throne of Ball, but if I play my cards right, I'll never get hit. Okay, let's go. I get one proficiency slot and I'm going to put that in slings. I get two spells. And uh, to start with, I'm going to go magic missile. And burning hands. Let me just check. I'm definitely going magic missile because magic missile always hits. And none of the rest of these are going to be that much benefit to me. Spook has its uses. But I'll take burning hands. Death to you all! Let's do this quick and pain. <laughs> to battle! With no regrets. I like that one. And obviously the name is Vessius. Let's go. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. 
Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Okay. So you may be wondering why I'm not playing uh, the, oh, enhanced, the enhanced editions of uh, Baldur's Gate. Uh, and Baldur's Gate 2, and I have them, but the uh, I actually wanted to play this original-ish version of them. Uh, I don't know why, but I just fancied it. Also, the Trilogies mod, which is what I'm running, so the Baldur's Gate Trilogies mod, it allows you to uh, take the state that you finished Baldur's Gate 1 in and uh, transfer all of that, including your companions, I believe, over into Baldur's Gate 2, which I don't believe you can do in the enhanced edition so i'm going to be trying to do that and uh, we'll we'll uh see how it goes i've never completed either game so we're gonna uh, in fact i haven't got very far in uh, number one at all so this is going to be somewhat of a blind playthrough but certainly not to begin with at least i wouldn't dream of refusing so the first thing i'm going to do is pick up some simple quests and have a look at some kids. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Well, hello there, young one. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have ye? Well, don't forget the 5,000 gold piece book entrance fee is per candle keep custom, don't you know? You always were the big kid of Winthrop. That gets funnier very nearly every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Or just having a bit of fun with you, my friend. Them monks may be walking about with poles in their nethers, but you know you're always welcome here in my sights. Gorion did well by you, he did. So, is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, a room to sleep, or anything to buy? Sure, what do you have? Now, I'm badly equipped, so... Oh, I'm not even capable of being well-equipped. Well, I'll take that sling. And I'll take some bullets. Done. Buy. I don't think I can use any of the rest of that, although I'm going to buy a few of these too. Two, that will do. And then this guy has a quest, so I'll go and talk to him. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Ah, yes. I'm back within the hallowed halls of Candlekeep. With this iron crisis upon us, the trip from Beragost was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're Gorion's ward, aren't you? My, you have come into your own if you would permit an old man jealous of youth to say so. Hmm. I left an identity scroll with, uh, Tethril in the inner grounds. You should be done examining it by now, so if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. And, uh, we're gonna do that. Amongst many other oh, bits and pieces. Yes. But first of all, there are some other bits to take hello care there. of. Oh, hello. Hey, you seem, have you seen my copy of the history of Halrua anywhere? You know how I can't stand the constant shuffling of arthritic feet up in the library. So I thought I'd get a bit of fresh air just east of here and... Oh, I hate being so absent-minded. Please, if you find it, I really do need it back. So we're off to look for her book as well. That's uh, one scroll we've got to get, and one book we've got to get. But I am woefully under-equipped at the moment. I, have n I am in need of rest, so we'll have a rest, because my spells are not up and right. Put them in the quiver. 
I should have joined the army. Now they're gonna make me actually uh, rest. If I don't rest properly, then I'm not gonna be able to cast magic. So, quickly, see my sleep is interrupted. I'm gonna take a quick uh, rest at the inn. Just as I thought. My hotel's as clean as And then I'll have some magic to cast. Cheap as possible. Really? My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. That was strange. Okay, done. So I've rested for eight hours. And now I have some Onward, magic. Then. And I need magic, because pretty much straight away, we're going to get into combat. And this guy's going to attack us. Hello. Oh, goody goody. I've gone and found you first. You are the ward of Gorion, no doubt. I am. What can I do for you? Oh, our encounter shall be quite simple for you. Plainly put, I've made it my mission to end your life. Success will mean a little respect among my peers. So you see, you could do very little except die. What an unpleasant chap. I think we'll magic missile him. And that's the end of him. I'll take that dagger. I'll take that. And the gold. Just give me it all. And this is the other nice thing about running it in Baldur's Gate 2 engine. I can uh, hit tab and all of this comes up, which isn't the case in Baldur's Gate 1. That's locked. I doubt I'll be able to force it, but we'll give it a go. Nah. Wonder if a slim will work. Nah. Uh, stronger characters can force open these chests. Hmm? Fortunately. Vesius, you cut yourself off the brow there! What is wrong, child? Something in your eyes tells me that something is very wrong indeed. Oh, Pada, there was a man in there. He smelled out the stables and he... And he tried to kill me. It was horrible. Hurry then, child. Equip this off at the inn and go and join Gorion on the steps of the library. I had a sense something like this might happen. As you will. So that, that guy uh, sees that something has gone wrong. But uh, he thinks we should go and talk to our mentor about it. Uh, we'll go have a chat with this what guy too. Felidia left one of her books in here again. It's in the hay there, beside the cow. If you could run it over to her and then come back, I've got some plans for you. So, uh, it's looking a lot like a fetch quest. We'll do that. I also think movement might be slightly faster in the Baldur's Gate 2 engine, but that could just be my imagination. Hello there. My book! Oh, you remind me of Gorion when you grin like that. Raising you has been hard on him, I know, but he says it's a toil of love, and a toil of destiny even. You must be a very special child indeed to draw such praise from a man of his side of nature. Here, take this little gem of mine. Maybe Winthrop will give you a little something for it. So we got some XP, which is our real reward, because we've got quite a long way to go before we level up. And also, I believe, a little gem. There we go. It's not worth much, but it's worth something. We could fight that guy if we wanted to, but there's no reward for doing it. However, there certainly is a reward for what's in here. And, incredibly, well, incredible as it may seem, I'm going to save at this point, because this can all go very wrong when you're a caster. So there's our quick save.
and in we go. There's uh, five rats, I think, in here. And now I'm down to melee, which is the problem. Okay, so one round left, I think I'm gonna be fine. You are ha! I crit him. Nice. Okay. So that's taken care of, no damage done. I'll take that too. Holy Marines! Hammer. Ah yes, kill them like the rats they are. A glorious battle unlike any of this world has ever seen. Here's five gold pieces. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh, I know what we didn't do. We didn't pick up the second stage of that uh, quatch, uh, fetch quest, quetch fest. Hmm. What do you need? Nice day, ain't it? Too bad Nessa here ain't enjoying it, though her being sick and all. I need to get her one of them potions of antidote off Hull. He stayed up drinking last night and got hauled out of bed to man the gates early this morning, so I bet he's got a few of them lying around somewhere. So we're off to see this guy called Hull, who we're told is manning the gates with a hangover. And he's here. <sighs> hey kid, I woke late this morning and left my sword in the barracks before going on duty. If you want to get it for me, it's in the chest at the foot of my bed on the right side of the barracks. Quick now, before the gate warden catches me without it. You'll also find an antidote there. I think Drippin needs one for old Nessie. Our rules are very strict. Uh, I'm just going to skip this. This is uh, basically the tutorial on managing a party. And I'm not that interested in doing it. You can uh, get involved in an exploit there to get extra XP, I believe, but I'm not going to be taking it. Uh, and which building do I want to go into? I think we'll go and we'll see if we uh, live through this. Oh, wrong choice. I... <laughs> Just name what you want. We'll come back to him. Of course. What I need is in here. There's the antidote. And there's a whole sword. I should have joined the army. Ah, oh, what a mead-filled night. That hall is just too much. Poor Sap had to go man the gate this morning too. I don't know how he does it. What can I do for you anyway? Uh, I was just wondering if you had any errands I could run. Errands? Yeah, actually. I need a quarrel of crossbow bolts. If you could get some off Winthrop at the inn, I'll reimburse you. Oh, very well. There'll be a few coins in it for you too, so you can stop giving me that look. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Uh, and there's the guy in here as well, so we'll go and we'll try and kill him. 
I have a blade with your name on it. Here there. Your grind's little whelp, ain't ya? Where you're a man, you would match the description. You don't look so dangerous to me. And what business is that of yours? I'll make it my business if and I please. Just thought I'd have me a look at you for myself before I put a blade down your gullet. Someone seems to think you're trouble, so I'm going to use your head for a ticket out of the gutter. I'm just a little street trash hood, they say, but I'll show them. Oh, yes. Well, that went about as well as it can. Nothing in there. I got the XP. I took the dagger off him, which I can probably sell. Just as I thought. We'll get Harley's sword. <laughs> I got some gold and some experience. We'll take the antidote to the cow hands. What do you need? That's all done. And we just got to get that identity scroll for five bids. Hey, yeah, uh, it's me, Emmowen. I'm surprised that stuffy old Goryan let you away from your studies and chores. That old fiddle faddle. I snuck off too. Oh, Puffcut's Winthrop was looking for me, but I've got all day to do his chores. You have time for a story today? No, I can tell you don't. What have you been up to? I'm afraid I cannot chat today, little one. My foster father wishes me to prepare for a journey, but will not say to where. Little one, I'm not that much younger than you, though you sure got tall fast. Well, relatively, anyway. A journey, eh? I never get to travel. Wish I could go with you. Yep, I really wish I could. Yes, sir. Really do. All right, all right, I get the message. I'll ask if you can go with us. Oh, don't be silly. Gorion will never even let you finish the sentence. Especially after what that letter of his said. Uh, um, did I say that? No, of course I didn't. Never saw no letter. No, I'll just get back to work now. Uh, you, you would better go. Gorion is waiting. Uh, so I'm going to look for Firebeard. And there he is. Greetings, uh, not Firebeard. Tethterum. Firebeard has sent you to me, hasn't he? Very well. Return this scroll to him, but then you must hurry and speak with Gorion. He's waiting for you on the steps of the Central Library. I assure you, child, it is a matter of greatest urgency. So this will be the end of our fetch quests. I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, rest up at the inn again and recover my spells. Still a long way short. I have three spells and some bullets. And I can't use armor. <laughs> Onward then! It's hard to find decent folk nowadays. He casts a protective on us. Maybe I should have done this after the rest. My Never mind. Girls as clean as an elven arse. Ah, uh, I forgot the the uh, crossbow box. As you will. My hotels as clean as an elven arse.
Where are they? There we go. Of course! Pretty stocks of magic. Drop these off. I wouldn't dream of refusing. I should have joined the army. And that's our lot. Now we're going to get out of here. That's basically the end of the tutorial. And this is Gorion. Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. This is very unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It is very important that you pack for your possessions so that we may leave Candlekeep immediately. Hurry, for there is no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. And I'm ready to go right now. Sit back and enjoy. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Let's hurry, child. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I will explain everything as soon as there is time. And I love that what happens next is different every time. It's done in the game engine with real hit rolls. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You're perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. I am sorry that you feel that way, old man. In Cactus. In Cactus. Run, child. Get out of here. Dawn is especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. It's me, Emmowen. Sorry I followed you, but I never got out of Candlekeep and those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets neither. I... I saw Gorion and I'm so sorry. Kind of figure something bad might happen to you out here. How could you have known? Gorion did not even tell me. I... accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. Can't remember exactly what it said, but he said... He might still have... It might be on his... His body. 
Anyway, I'm not going to let you wander around out here all alone. Never let a friend down, no sir. Stick with you until you say otherwise, I will. We'll, we'll save there. Uh, and we'll call it a day. Next time, we shall uh, progress from here on our way to the Friendly Arms Inn. Okay, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time.